Jessica Lange is one of the few actresses who's won two Academy Awards, three Primetime Emmy Awards, and a Tony Award. Most people don't know much about her other than that she was an actress. In this video, we'll share some secret facts about her that you probably didn't know. She's a professional photographer. She studied art and photography at the University of Minnesota, where she met Spanish photographer Paco Grande. Lang and Grand were passionate about photography, and they traveled around the world after they got married in 1971. Lang has published four books of photography. Her first book was a collection of black and white photos she took. The book's introduction was written by musician Patti Smith. One of Lang's exhibitions was also presented at the George Eastman House, and she was also the first person to receive the George Eastman Honors Award. Her second book of photography, called In Mexico, was published in 2010. Her third book was a children's book called It's About a Little Bird. Lang originally made the book for her two grandchildren. Lang had an exhibition at the Multimedia Art Museum in Moscow in 2014. Her fourth and most recent book was published in 2019. The book called Highway 61 is a collection of pictures of U.S. Route 61. She won a Golden Globe Award for her first film. Lang was working as a model and a waitress in New York City when she was discovered by film producer Dino De Laurentiis. Laurentiis was looking for someone he could cast in his remake of King Kong. Lang gave a screen test and she was selected for the role of Dawn. Some other actresses who had auditioned for the role were Meryl Streep and Goldie Hawn. The film was a success and it went on to win an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. Lang won the 1976 Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year. Despite being new in Hollywood, she was highly praised for her performance in the film. Film critic Pauline Kael wrote, The movie is sparked by Jessica Lange's fast yet dreamy comic style. She dated Philippe Pettit. Philippe Pettit was a French artist who walked along a high wire strung between the Twin Towers in New York City in 1974. How did they meet? Before Lange got her role in her first film, she was working as a waitress at the Lion's Head Tavern, a place that was visited by all kinds of artists. Philippe Pettit saw her at the tavern while she was working and asked her out on a date. Not much is known about their relationship, but Lang soon became busy with her first film, so neither of them was probably that serious about having a long-term relationship. Graham Clifford decided to cast her in his film while editing The Postman Always Rings Twice. Graham Clifford was an editor on the 1981 film The Postman Always Rings Twice. While working on the film, he was also planning to direct his first film called Francis, he was impressed by Lang's performance on The Postman Always Rings Twice and decided she was perfect for his film while he was editing it. Francis was an autobiographical film based on the life of actress Frances Farmer. Lang later said that acting in Francis proved to be really difficult for her because it was too emotionally demanding. She spent hours and hours reading the screenplay, hoping that she might be able to make some connections between Francis Farmer's life and her own. When the film was finished, her co-star, Kim Stanley, told her that she should do something light. She was the first person to receive two Academy Award nominations in 40 years. After working on the emotionally taxing film, Francis, Lang decided to perform in the 1982 film, Tootsie. For her role in the film, she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Lang was nominated for two Academy Awards for her roles in Francis and Tootsie. She became the first person in 40 years to be nominated for two Academy Awards in the same year. Tootsie was the second highest grossing film of the year in 1982, and it was also nominated for nine Oscar Awards. Lang won a Golden Globe Award for her role in the film, and she also received awards from the National Society of Film Critics the New York Film Critics Circle, the Boston Society of Film Critics, and the Kansas City Film Critics Circle. For her role in Francis, she won Best Actress at the Moscow International Film Festival. She was chosen over Meryl Streep three times. Meryl Streep auditioned for King Kong but lost the role to Jessica Lange. Streep also auditioned for The Postman Always Rings Twice but lost to Lange again. The third film in which Lange was cast over Streep was Sweet Dream. Despite having lost roles to Lang, there has never been animosity between the two actresses, and they are in fact good friends. Streep mentioned in an interview that she practically begged film director Carol Rice to give her the role of Klein in The French Lieutenant's Woman, but Rice said his first choice had always been Lang. 
Speaking about Lang's role in the film, Streep said she was beyond wonderful, and I couldn't imagine doing it as well or even coming close to what Jessica did because she was so amazing in it. She's politically active. Lang has been vocal about the HIV AIDS epidemic in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Democratic Republic of the Congo had been at war with itself for seven years when Lang traveled there to witness war atrocities so she could bring the world's attention to them. She also raised awareness of HIV and AIDS in Russia, and she's a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF. She's also been a harsh critic of George W. Bush. She once said Bush's administration is a self-serving regime of deceit, hypocrisy, and belligerence. She's also spoken against animal cruelty. In a letter to Governor Mark Dayton, she expressed her opposition to Minnesota's wolf hunt. She wrote, more than anything else, the cruel methods allowed for hunting and trapping wolves are deeply disturbing. Lang said she was politically active because she grew up in Minnesota, a liberal state. She said, my parents always impressed on us that it was important to help the needy. I watched my grandmother raising other people's kids and the Vietnam War helped politicize me. I took part in all the anti-war demonstrations. She appeared in a film with Bob Dylan. Jessica Lange has been a fan of Bob Dylan's music since she was a child. She told journalist Charlie Rose that she grew up listening to his music and it had a huge influence on her. The actress proudly claims that she can sing every song Bob Dylan wrote. She performed in Bob Dylan's film, Masked and Anonymous. Her book of photography, Highway 61, was a tribute to Bob Dylan. Dylan's album, Highway 61 Revisited, was the first album she bought when she was 16 and it was one of the inspirations for her new book. What's your favorite movie by Jessica Lang? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, and make sure you hit that subscribe button.